Hey, this is Leo, and in this video, I want to give you a preview of another feature that is coming to AbleSet 2, and that is multi file projects. So, normally, if you want to uh, build a live set, you can put multiple songs into one session and just put a locator at the start of each song, put a stop marker at the end of each song, and you're good to go. But in some cases, let's say you have more than 50 songs in one session, or let's say you have 300 songs in one session, you might not want to put them all into one project file. Life starts to get a bit slower and you might start to experience some audio dropouts and, and stuff like that. That is where the multi-file projects come in. So to enable this, you just go to the Ableset menu bar app, click on multi-file project, choose project folder. And I have a multi-file project set up here. This is just a normal live project with a folder that contains multiple songs, but the Folder structure doesn't really matter as long as there is one project file per song. So let me just open this. And now you see that Ableset is automatically creating a set list based on these songs. If I go to my finder, you can see that these songs correspond with these here. And I can use the standard queue notation to add some more information here. Like I can make this one blue, for example. I can add some description to it and uh, that just instantly reflects in the set list. Now, if you click on a song, you'll see that Ableset instantly loads this song into life. And all other features are available as well. So for example, you can change your set list. Um, let's just say I want to remove some of these songs here. You can enable auto jumping to the next song, for example, which is fairly handy. So. Let's say we reach the stop point here. Ableset immediately loads the next song and uh, primes it for playback. So we can just press play and uh, yeah, continue with the next song. Each song in this kind of setup needs to have at least two markers, and that is uh, one locator at the start of the song and one locator or a stop marker at the end of the song so that Ableset knows where to start and where to end. You can also decide whether Ableset should save the current project before loading a new one, or whether it should discard the changes. And to do that, you just go here to the settings menu, to multi-file project, and then you can either enable or disable save changes before loading project. By default, this is enabled to um, prevent some data loss when switching between songs. But if you want higher performance and you know that you won't make any changes uh, to the project files, so for example, in a live scenario, you can just disable this and now um, songs won't be saved when you load a new one. And that's basically it. If you have any questions or suggestions or if you want to try out the current beta, just let me know in the comments below and I wish you a great day.